tonight's edition of News in Depth, I'm Matt for Wharton. Thanks for joining us. First up, a West Coast Burbies man loses his life in a motorcycle accident. A West Coast Burbies family is trying to come to grips with the death of a young father. The young man, identified as 33-year-old Leonard Jamir, is said to have lost his life when his motorcycle slammed into a lamp pole in Washington Village, also on the West Coast of Burbies. The man's elderly mother spoke with the media. Well, he was drinking at Tiamo and then he ride with him, so care money for his daughter. He said daughter going to tower. Where is your daughter living? Um, Washington. Mm -hmm. And he been at Tiamo and he must even get the liquor in here and, and by the breeze, he locked the up to a lantern post. Um, mm -hmm. He did at the spot and then police was patrolling and then pick you up and the ears was bleeding. The distraught woman said she last saw her son on Sunday night. And I come from church yesterday about one o'clock and he went out and he buy china for me and my daughter. And we sit on the front step and he bring the china and he give me. And we collect the china, look the china in the fridge. And he bed. And when we sit down, we see right out Pandy down with the motorbike. Jamie leaves to mourn his wife and two children along with his mother and a sibling. More news on the other side of this break. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't got my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. A thing compares to the class and beauty of beasts and windows and doors. Engineered by professionals and built to last longer than the competition. Buy 10 windows and get one 24 by 16 bathroom window absolutely free. No tricks, no gimmicks, and no hidden fees. Prices starting from 13.5 VAT inclusive. So visit our showroom today at lot 1228 New Eccles Industrial Site or BPAT's building on Regent Street and save big on UPVC or aluminum windows. To order now, call 622 four one nine seven or two two six one two nine two Thanks for staying with us. Some sad news to report now on News in Depth. An eight-month-old baby was killed in a fire on the east bank of Demerara, while a 59-year-old man was killed in a separate fire also on the east bank of Demerara. Residents of Cainville on the east bank of Demerara are trying to come to terms with the tragic demise of an eight-month-old baby. Little Romani Seth was on the bed under a mosquito net which caught fire and quickly engulfed the house, causing her to die on the spot. Angel Rampy, her cousin, said it was just around 2 this morning when the fire started. She recalled having a bad dream, and when she woke, she said the house was in flames. I had a bad dream when I get up. So when I pulled the, the blind, I see my aunt's house on fire. So I called for everyone in the house, and my three brother and a by name Randy, they, they take a bucket of water and they emptied those drums there, and they held the house down. And then after my sister, she go, no, she borrowed my phone and she called 911 and they called the fire station and then after they arrived here. By the time the guy in the fire service arrived on the scene, the two-bedroom house was already gutted. Eleven persons are now homeless, including six children. When reporters turned up at the scene this morning, her aunt, Janet Walters, said she was at work when someone called to tell her that her sister's house was on fire. She said nothing was safe from the house. When I reached the house, was born flat down and the baby get born bad, terrible bad inside the house. But I don't know what, what caused the fire. The Guyana Fire Service are currently investigating the matter. The origin of the fire is still to be determined. A 59-year-old man succumbed to a fiery death at this house at 795 
Block X, Section A, Diamond in the East Bank of Demerara, just around 3 this morning. He was identified as Takedur Singh. Singh lived at the bottom flat of the building with his nephew, Chachandra Singh. He said the fire started from inside of his uncle's apartment and he believes his kerosene stove may have caused the fire. He said he could not save anything from the blaze since the safety of his family was the most important to him. Well, my uncle was living inside the... Um he don't see is actually in the garage. I give him the garage to live and I don't know if he if he left on his stove or anything or what, but you know he his life lasts in it. But my wife and my daughter too, they um come out of the room too, right? And they go through the bag veranda. It's a good thing we, we left the bag the veranda, we didn't really lock it up properly. So they go through the bag veranda and um she had for help and I um I had to go wrong back and try to get my wife and daughter down. So we managed to, I managed to uh, forget them down for the back for and so on. And, and after that, fire take place, fire. The young man says his losses are in the millions as he watched helplessly all his years of hard work were burned to ashes. He even lost his minibus in the fire. He said he was disappointed with the response of the Guyana Fire Service. Police this morning recovered a .25 pistol in Ankerville, Port Morant. The gun was reportedly dropped by one of three men in their haste to escape the doorman. Police, according to release, gave chase after observing the men who were dressed in dark clothing on the dispensary dam. That's a wrap for this edition of News in Depth. Do join us again tomorrow, same time for another edition.